got joy, joy in my soul is a breath in the bird. Teachers of National Grammar School meeting. Uh, I just started this way because I know the reason why I started that way. Good afternoon, my noble colleagues. Principal Transikuru Girls Secondary School. I greet you. Uh, but yeah, this side. I told you I didn't make it now. <laughs> when I came in newly, uh, we are going to start with prayers before that. And uh, I would like uh, Mrs. Son to lead us in uh, opening prayers. Those people that are doing one thing or the other to make the end meet. So remember them. Remember our school. His name is higher above all the names. His name is Jesus. His name is Lord. I just feel like worshiping the Lord this afternoon. For he has been so good unto us. He has been our shield and our butler. He has been our keeper, the ancient of days, the mighty man in battle, the Elohim and Adonai. Father, we say thank you. We lift your holy name, O God. We bless you for whom you are. You that have kept us, even in these terrible days. Oh Lord, as it is happening in front, we were behind. As it is happening behind, we were in front. And none are us and those who are our own. Baba, you kept us. You shielded us. You, oh God, provided for us. Let your name alone be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father 
and our God, we know that in several ways we have taught, we have said a lot of things to oh God. But we do not hold these things against us because we are mere mortals. Do not hold these things against us. Lord, forgive us. Cleanse us from every unrighteousness. Oh God, wash us and purify us that we will be worthy of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Immortal Redeemer. Oh God our Father, look at to oh God. Today we gather, mighty Jehovah, to celebrate. And in that, to oh God, we say thank you. Thank you, oh Lord, for the people who have organized this thing. Thank you for the school authority, oh God. Because if they have been quarreling with them and fighting with them, they wouldn't have been coming and coming to bless us. And so, Lord, we say thank you for them. Thank you for our students who stayed back and honored grammar school. And the Lord mighty Jehovah, we pray that you honor them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for our great teachers, oh Lord, who are toying in the lives of this one, so God. Baba, their blessings will not elude them. You will meet them at the point of their knees. In the name of Jesus Christ. Immortal Redeemer, we say thank you. And we lift up, oh God, we are still in the world. We lift up, oh God, our brothers and sisters, mighty Jehovah, who are in this area as well it is happening. Our old boys, oh God, who are ever thinking of us. In a very short time, they came up with this wonderful celebration. Mighty and every Jehovah, may you continue to shield them. May you continue to cover them. All their family, oh God, their wives, their children, their relations, oh God, they will not suffer from this COVID or any related illness that terminate people's life or, uh, on, on shortly in the name of Jesus. My Father and my King, we pray and ask, may you make a way for them. Bless them, oh God. Bless each and every one of us. May all Lord King in glory, your name be glorified in our life. And we pray for our sister, who is the principal of uh, uh, Transsequil Girls, whom you have committed the affairs of that school into her hand. Lord, you will help her. Oh God, as you have blessed us with this old boy, you will give our people who will support her in that work, in that school, oh God. May you stir them up, wherever they are, to come from east, west, north, and south, to come and support her in what she is doing, oh God, that the school will be lifted high. Mighty and able Jehovah, we glorify your name. Blessed be thy holy name, oh God. Today we shall celebrate. We will eat to the glory of your name. We will almighty Jehovah eat king in glory without eating condemnation. Baba, may you sanctify the food with the precious blood of Jesus, that king in glory we will eat to the glory of your name. And as we celebrate, O oh God, may your spirit be with us. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. Let the people of God shout a Hey, oh. uh, you know, anytime, anywhere, I see our good mom here. It's so well. You know, I told you the time she was leaving. If she's, if she's having ordinary transfer, I could have been sleeping at the board's headquarters on day she was back to the school. But because it's an elevation, there's nothing uh, I would rather we celebrate it. And today, she is a bright, one of the brightest principal in any state. <laughs> I'm not saying because she's here. Because I've, I've, been, I've been in the system for so long. Before she got to Transekulu, that school was something else. But the few months she has been there, apart from the COVID, that school has been turned positively, morally, academically, in a different way. And it's because she's very dedicated. Put her two hands on her. So, for me, you're welcome. Now, 
why we are here. You know, I told you, you are my first son. You are my first son. And I will continue to treat you as the first son. The old boys here have done a lot to this school. They have done a lot to this school. And eventually, when you are leading this school, when you are the administrators of this school, the school gates was built in your presence. The, all the classrooms Bogari proved to stop invaders in your presence at your own time. A lot of awards have been given to students in your own presence, in your own government. Put your turn as together for yourself. Many students have been paid school fees. Many have been given scholarship. So these old boys, I am Kulufaka. And uh, without wasting your any other time, I will tell you that uh, he had a man because we are good to them. He had a man because we are good to them. And I can tell you that in Domi, we are not in Man or local. The old people are now listening to me. Now I'm listening to me with their kids. Now we are instead of eating rice. And now that I see banana, I don't know if before we move out, see butter the rice. They put the rice. So we see all fire. So I ain't going to never. This thing they made now just three days ago. Just three days ago, Doctor Zubiko Doya, a man, you all of you know. Shout out, Mama! Oh, bom. Sim, que aí é meu irmão Maka. Ele acho que Maka faz muito tono. Acho que acabou com tono. Não é onde? At least for having finished o o o o o. Cani, ele ele fez o negócio. Sim, que ele ele quer fazer o exam. Ele diz, they are taking the exams very well. They have been taught. They can have nico zia very well. These people committed themselves to this particular set. And then by God's grace, the result is going to be the best in this yeah. <laughs> So, you see, I'm not the one man. Or smoke here. Or make a body. See, I'm not here to believe in that. And I'm going to go for a while. no problem. I'm going to come and 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 come I believe in my career, like in an Aka. Call me Aka. And today, you are seeing it. I thank you very much. I thank Dr. Doe. I told him he say, I told him last time that he's a good driver. He's a good driver. Because when you hand a vehicle, you demand a bag and you get, and ask a bag and Is that driver not good? He's a good driver. Because he's, he's carrying people along. He's carrying his sex along. And do you know why I so much respect him? He trusts himself. That young man trusts himself. And because he trusts himself, every other person here in making it trusts him. So that is why at times when I'm doing something, I will. In fact, I know that this person is at the right time, at the right place. So at the end, he said, okay, no problem. Uh, at the end, this is the, the result. So I thank Dr. Doe and other members of the old boys that has contributed to this particular, this particular gathering. Uh, mommy will say something. There was no prefect. We I am not agenda. So, uh, no prefect will talk to us. Because I have the class.
Hello. So on behalf of the school, I'm calling the school prefect. And before then, please, before then, I'm sorry. Sitting at my right is a uh, chief Omej. Omej is the school vice principal at me. At my right side is the dean of studies. This is so. The shining woman you're seeing there. You know you cannot find lines, even if that darkness when she's there. That's uh, this is a uh, for the vice principal special. As you're looking at this side, that's our respectable, committed teachers of National Grammar School, Nike. Thank you very much. SP. I'm an Andy Nemela Ihebo in the old boys. And uh, I am an old boy here. Dr. Chukuma Ude. Dr. Chukuma Ude is here with us. I didn't The honorable principal, the vice principal, our most inspired teachers, other members of the high table, and the members of staff, my fellow students here, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon all. Good afternoon. I am Duty Village School actually with a great privilege to thank the Lord Almighty for this period of my life and that of my fellow SSG students. When I look back six years ago, from when I concluded my primary education till this moment, having concluded our SSCE, I find the reasons to, ask, to appreciate God. Like some of us here today, I started my secondary education here in National Grammar School, DKNU. It was never my desire to do so. Reason being that I had so many disheartening information as regards the school, such as stories of uh, notorious boys, bully, truancy, and what have you, with all these stigmatizations, as a young boy with young mentality, I concluded that NGS was never a good school. I decided to join an institution where I would meet people that are serious with their studies. Because I am one of them. I graduated as a senior prefect in my primary school. As time went on, I found myself in a school which I cannot recall how it happened. I had no other choice than to focus on my studies as usual. Unexpectedly, I met students that are like minded, students that confounded all my negative thoughts as it concerned the school. In my first year, I met students that challenged me academically and spiritually. My class, just one precisely, just one A precisely, was a competitive one. None of the students ever played with the studies. This first experience recycled my former thoughts. It was flabbergasting when I saw our teachers discharging their duties effectively. I never expected to see teachers that know what they are doing in NGS. These teachers taught us with all talk, with all their minds and to the best of their knowledge. They never allowed us to misuse our time. They were always in class and they were right class period. Some of them even organized after school lessons just to see that they give 
was the best. We students cannot de deny the fact that these sacrifices and efforts of these our teachers yielded good dividends in our life. Out of what they taught us, they gave us assignments, and we went home and made our own research. A number of them, a number of times, we have come back, we have come back with various of gifts we acquired from different competitions. Throughout my academic, my academic year in this school, I cannot count it more than five times we lost a competition victory. These here as a result of the academic impacts we received from our teachers, our own little efforts and the help of God. Shall we forget the moral lessons and discipline we have acquired from this great institution, the preachings in the assembly, the Wednesday school, the Wednesday school prayers, and the Thursday moral instruction? No, they have become part and parcel of us. We will continue to live with them. I will say thank you to all these. I cannot fail to acknowledge the Old Boys Association of National Grammar School, DK Good, who have made it their obligation to see that they restore the, this school to its former glory. Many of us, both teachers and students, are beneficiaries of the career week yearly organized by the Old Boys. By the Old Boys Association. Through this program, many outstanding students who are finding it difficult to pay their school fees and other necessary academic payments have received help to do so. So we are equally giving scholarships. And so many other things. The gigantic gates erected in the front of our school. These are the things, so many things that they have done for us. I will say thank you to the Old Boys Association. <laughs> Finally, it will be an unforgettable sacrilege if I fail to acknowledge the three principals that have stayed in the school right from my first year to this sixth year. Mr. Zika, Chief Ezia, and my current honorable principal here, Mr. Jesus, you all play significant roles in the development of the school. Mr. Zika reduced the level of truancy in the school. Chief Ezia brought development in our school uniform. And our honorable principal here diligently increased the number of students registering for work in our school. Obviously, he is the first principal to organize a get-together ceremony for the SSG students in our school. He has promised not to relent in bringing more development in the school. On behalf of the SSG students of National Grammar School, I want to inform us that we have passed through the school and the school has as well passed through us. That which we have acquired from this great institution can never be overemphasized. As we have concluded our exams, we are believing God for good results. We are proud to be Nagramites. We are taking the speech by one and all appreciation to both biotic and abiotic environment of the National Grammar School. Nikki Elumi. I am a duty clinical Anthony. This is not perfect. Thank you very much. I say one or two things in this address. When the SP was talking, a giant of old boys just came in. You know, I told you, and there I go like a home with this before NMA and whatever. So I'm using this opportunity to acknowledge the presence of uh, Collins. Please come over this place.
thank you very much. Uh, some of our boys, you know him. Computer gurus. One thing I like in these old boys. Nkunyo bona maone eme. Ocho kaubo tieni me National Grammar School nike. When the lockdown was fully locked down, he came and told me that there's a way to help these students. Instead of locking them inside their houses, playing videos and all sorts of whatnot. I said, how do we do it? He said, bring some of them that are interested to learn a lot in computer. I said, eh? He said, yes. He said, no problem. And uh, you see, the way I like this boy, they are very enthusiastic. I said, there are places we are going to learn complex. Where is that place? That was that place. I wish you stand up, sir. Stand up a little bit. We will train our boys in computer during all this lockdown. Even till now, he stopped some of you because you are taking exams. And he promised me that once you finish your exams, you will continue. Good job, Thank you very much. Yes, that is good boy for you. That's good boy for you. I go and get I get a quota for. And if I get a million, you will be so. Thank you. Uh, no one only can believe. No one can believe. Hmm? Who can believe? Who can believe? Uh huh. Who can believe? Then we can do the work. I go, I go, I go, I go, I go. But before then, I will. Use this opportunity to invite our great mommy here, the woman that, that have taken National Grammar School Nike to heart, the woman that sleep with National Grammar School Nike, thinking of what to do, how to better the lives of the students and teachers of this school. The woman, in spite of the fact that she was transferred to Trasekulu as a principal, in one year, I also went to a school. In the country, it's National Grammar School. Nigeria, okay, so they still think about us. In the country, yeah, man, in one year, go on, go. That's the and that's the questions of a good mother. This is so bad. I know they will not look at you as a student. <laughs> she is the principal of National uh, uh, Transsekulu Girls Secondary School. Nike National. My my noble colleague and my very amiable boss, you remain my boss. <laughs> Vice principals here present. Teachers are great. <laughs> Members of the old boys of National Grammar School, Nike. My dear students. You are still my students. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I want to first of all thank God Almighty for this wonderful opportunity to be in your midst. I will have gone all the way around, but like our principal said, we have come not for a long speech making event, but we have come to celebrate, to rejoice. So I will cut it short. I want to thank members of the Old Boys Association of National Grammar School Nike for the honor and respect they accord me. I came into this school on 11th of February, 1989, before my wedding. I wedded in this school. I had my six children in this school. <laughs> Apart 
from the two years I spent at Annunciation Secondary School in Kwanike, all the other years of my 31 years of service we are spent at National Grammar School Nike. You can see with me when I pride myself in saying I am an, the only old girl among the boys. <laughs> I am an old girl of National Grammar School Nike and I am proud to say it any day and I will leave it I will leave that statement. I will continue to be a part and parcel of National Grammar School Nike, even when I am out of service. I will not stop because I am already an old boy, girl of National Grammar School Nike. So you can see why every time when the old boys want to have a program they always want me to be there dr Zubike called me just three days ago when you see just three days ago he said mr Sope, please you can stand in for me i said yeah he said that national i said ah, Azubike, be cool. he said no you have to go i have already discussed with principal you are coming what are we going to do i said okay no problem and here am i standing in for dr Zubike standing in for other members of the old boys including those that are here we are all partners in service i want to thank every one of you all the teachers for the good works you are doing i want to appreciate especially our principal for being an agent of change in this school because it was like something was happening along the line when we started losing our students to other schools. But thank God, through him, we have started changing the narrative. And I'm sure, by the grace of God, in no distant time, we will have a better story to tell. Courtesy of also the activities of the Old Boys Association. So I want to give it to the Old Boys. I also want to give it to you, sir. May God bless you. And also to our amiable teachers for the wonderful works you're doing for not relenting in doing your assigned duties. May God bless you all. And to my dear students, you all met me here at National Grammar School in Ike. And we have been here together. You grew up in our midst. I was reading through Facebook, Facebook page of National Grammar School in Ike one day. And a student, an ex-student of National Grammar School, Nike, went and brought one of my pictures, old pictures on Facebook that I took inside the school compound. And he commented, he made a comment. And another student said, ah, is that Mrs. Sope? That woman that sees my pawn. <laughs> another one commented, I said, that woman sees my sweater, my cardigan. Another one commented, that woman sees my surface. Then another one commented and said, okay, she did a very good work by correcting you. For you to wear pawn to school, you know it's wrong. For you to wear that sweater she must have confiscated from you, you were wearing a wrong uniform. It wasn't out of hatred, it was out of love. So let you know that in every organization, in every society, wherever you may find yourself in, war, in the world, that there, there are rules of conduct. You don't behave anyhow. It's not as if it will take anything out of anybody when you wear mufti to school. It won't take us anything out of us. But we are trying to teach you what? Virtue. We, we, are, we try to teach students there are rules and regulations. You must conduct yourself in a certain manner. Otherwise, if we leave you, you will go to the state of nature of man. That is when people behave anyhow. That is when man was brutish. You know, those of you who studied government, the state of nature, before the, uh, the adv advent of states, statism, man was behaving anyhow. When you are walking along the street and you see somebody you are stronger than, you take out anything that person has. You can even kill that person and walk away with that. That was the state of nature of man before the advent of the state. But when the state came in, we now had conduct, rules, and regulations. So even in your homes, 
your father may say, if it is 6 o'clock, you don't go out. If you are outside and it is 6 o'clock, you must come back home. That is what? Rules and regulation. That you don't behave anyhow you like. There are freedom. You have freedom, but that your freedom should not infringe on another person's freedom. That is why we have coexistence of human beings and we are advocating for peace. Unification, oneness of purpose, and that is how our society will continue to advance. So as you are going out, I wish you well. As you are going out, remember that we have set a precedence. And that precedence we set is that we have conduct. We have guiding principles in life. May you continue to obey the guiding principles in life. Don't go and become a hooligan. You will not be a good ambassador of this school. You see how we are proud of them. See them. See them. As we could do it. Others. Rex Mafiana and other members of the old boys. We are so proud of them because they represent us well. I am praying and my prophecy is that you will also represent us well. Wherever you find yourself, you will be good ambassadors of this school. So you continue to look back. Don't forget National Grammar School, Nikki. Always think back and say, what was it that wasn't in place when I was at National Grammar School, Nikki? I must be the person to put that thing in place. You must come back to give back to that society, that community, that environment that made you who you are. And that is when you become a great person. So remember, National Grammar School, Nikki, is the best. We are... We are members of a great institution. Always remember that, that this school must change and transform to become that which we know that it is. And that is being the best. So remember National Drama School League. Don't forget National Drama School League. Don't forget your teachers, as you also don't forget your own parents and the entire society. Thank you, thank you, and may God bless you. You know, when a good mother talks, it's like the cold water from the heaven pouring on your head. When she was talking, it was like an angel that entered this place and made everywhere very quiet. <laughs> because it took me back to something that happened when we were in school. We used to have our assembly there. And then I went to every morning assembly, man, was the principal, all that every day, it was not a you know, every morning when you go there, all the people that come home. And I asked her, Kakuwa, Niara, my God, I'm already going to go. And I asked her, that's a model of Mormon. I don't know any idea, but I don't know. So one day we came to class, while we were in assembly, some classic cool girls, I want to have their exam. I want to move them in. I have about 10 of them. I got like that here in Azerba. I put a uniform. Exactly that's the dress now. So they were there. And then we, I move, I move boys, I know, we form wine now. First of all, they say, morning, I say, before they go, I go high go that day. You will take the opera. Yeah. The kind of voices you bring up on Muru, on Muru, you hear the choir. On Muru, that's it. Praise my heart. What? Oh, oh, you want to hear the choir? Was he again? Again? Open again in this room, I can't hear you. One woman never said, I'm going to be like, 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 I'm going so when I came in and I saw her, open up to Roma, I can't come out with her high for that day. <laughs> but mommy, I don't know, you may not remember me. I came in, oh my god, we're meeting, all of us came. So I don't, I'm not very, very conspicuous. Usually, even in our forum, they know that I don't talk. But I know you very, very, very well. And we follow every single thing 
than him. You see, I want to thank God for her life. And I want to thank God for everybody here who, one way or the other, as a teacher, has stepped her foot in this environment. I had to share my Nike. Mana, the only problem we have is if you can see someone that will give you a motivation, someone that will make you to believe in yourself. When culture passed through here, Chile will not pass through here. And these guys I'm mentioning, Chile, is a consultant in pediatrics now. What we did was somebody to give us a very simple motivation, someone that will tell you believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Oya wara abubo, mama boa. Oya wara abubo. Abu ifu mama boa, mama itaise. Nei wengi zeche ke mama itaise. Nei mtaandi beha ndi beha songo de kono de pasi tuli ke kero. God will bless you. God will bless you. In all that we passed through in life, one thing that kept us going, the fact that we passed through this ground, we don't give up at all. It doesn't matter I'm paying a million, I'm paying a million. None of us are paying a million. In fact, basically, you do not compare with your own teacher. What we had from this ground was that our teachers, the people who were teaching us, they believed in us. And I'm telling you, as you step out, you need to understand something. They believed in you. The principal, the teachers, they had this belief that no matter where you see yourself and what you're going to pass through, that you will excel because this is from National Grammar School. Nikkei, simple. <laughs> so, you cannot fail because you were never designed to fail in the first instance. The future is all ahead of you and you can do so very much. So, we have been, we have stepped out there, and what we have seen, we have conquered reasonably. And we are better prepared now to give you the kind of motivation you also need to step out and to win and become all that you've ever dreamed of. We are waiting for you. Yeah. I'm also a lecturer. A lecturer in this with a lecturer in IMT. So if you, you want your work is to me. I'm going to get involved directly in getting involved with the admission processes. Like <laughs> AIP, when you did these projects, after your NECO, the office is open. I want to conclude your training to see what we can do to arrange for scholarships for you while you're there. So, I think tomorrow is waiting for you. And I also believe that you're ready for tomorrow. He called me and told me that very my uncle now, so I'm living in the Angelina place. Yeah. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Put your two hands now. Yes. Do you know why I'm happy? All these things are happening at National Grammar School Nike when I am the principal of National We have been having many principals here. But all these good things, let me tell you that one Chitonia Eba has paid the school fees first term, second term for seven students that have not paid. You see, it doesn't take anything to communicate. It doesn't take anything to reach out. You, if, you, if you're in a place where you cannot identify yourself, you cannot identify another person. That's a simple language. But when you can identify yourself, you will know that some other people are existing. Just like what he said. People who are very, very fortunate. You see people that can propel you. Who can push you. I want to tell you that uh, my first son is attending the computer session. 
Somebody that has made me to touch foreign currency for the first time. So, thank you, everyone. I am Comrade Tuko de Colin Sede. I am Nike all through. I am made in Nike. My father is from Nike. My father studied in Nike. The first son, I studied in Nike. The second son, where? Nike. The third son, where? Nike. My own sons, where were they? Nike. Especially under the able leadership of our principal, Mr. Chuku. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I thank the oldest old girl. Thank you, ma, for impacting on us. I thank uh, teachers here because. There cannot be excellence in grammar school without the teachers. Please, all of you, stand up. Let us celebrate. Stand the teachers. up. Let us being shared to you. And the Biro, SP, are you sharing the Biro also? Uh, oh, principal, I will take just a few minutes. Because uh, the old boys, we have planned to organize a career week for you, but because of uh, COVID, it couldn't be possible. And I am here to bring in the other perspective. The old guys say that you are being sent forth. Actually, you are not going out of this school. If since 1991 that I will still be here, that means you people are not going out. They are still here. You are only going to another level. You are not leaving this school. And that is the kind of belief we want to adopt as the old boys. That we graduate from this school, but we don't leave the school. Whatever I am now started from this school. Secondary school is actually the building block of whatever you're going to be. Be it academically, be it socially, be it uh, spiritually. My colleague Dr. Day was talking about the hymn. Most of the hymns I know today, I learned it from the assembly ground here. I have studied in Germany. I studied in Austria, I studied in Spain, and of all these studies, I came to find out that the backbone, the main study was the one I did here. The thing about studying here is that the teachers, she is a witness, they make sure, they teach you and they make sure that you understand. 
But when you live here, for those of you who are going to the high institution, you're going to meet lecturers, like my colleague. You know the difference between a lecturer and a teacher? Yes. The lecturer, you may pay a high school fees. And after paying that school fees, the lecturer will come into the class, write his subject on the board, and tell you the textbook that you should read from social page to social page, and then I see you next week. Lecture has started and ended. <laughs> so that means you are on your own. The reason why I gave you these books, exercise books, you when you look at it, we in Enugu, the Enugu State Indigenous in Spain, we have an association. And from last year, we decided to go into education. We have been doing a lot of projects back home here. And in our education project, of which I am the, the chairman of the committee on education. And also what we are doing is sharing educational materials and granting of scholarships to deserving students. That is actually why I came to the first uh, to, to the principal in the first place. When we met with the special advisor to His Excellency on the Espera, among other things, she advised us that the governor is interested in mentoring of students. That this is a gap. There is a gap there in mentoring. And actually, our society, not just the students, need, need, we need mentoring. Mentoring in the sense that, as most of you are going out of this school, a lot of you will face some uncertainties. And how do we deal with this uncertainty? First of all, I would like you to open the, the exercise books you are having. Right in five years' time. years time what I mean is what you are going to be in five years time the reason why most people fail is lack of planning I want you to use this exercise book as your life plan book if you are going to go to the university most probably, in five years' time, you must have graduated. In this life plan, when you get home, you outline all those things. First of all, you write what you want to study if you are going to study in the university. I want to tell you one thing, one thing I believe in. Although I went to the high institution, but I don't so much believe in high institution the way Nigeria is today. If you ask me why, I will tell you that most of the graduates of the universities are employed by illiterates. So you come to ask yourself why. The mistake we have been making is that in the university here in Nigeria, we are graduating job seekers. We are graduating students that are very good in writing curriculum and applications. And I want you to have a different mentality. Have the mentality of being a good CV reader. Know how to identify somebody that could work with you. 
We have a project in a suit that is called Startup Culture. In that, we want to change the mentality of students studying to come out and seek for employment to instead study to come out and open a business. While you are in school, you have friends who have like minds and you gather yourself together, form a team. With that your idea, we can come in with the necessary form to start up that business. In Europe, most of the graduates are being graduated to be employers of level. And we want to bring that culture here. And as I've told some of you, I will encourage a lot of you to also apply uh, to foreign universities. Why it is necessary is that in a country like Germany, 99% of the universities are tuition free. Think about that. Having to go to the university without paying for school fees. In addition to that, if you are qualified, when you go to the embassy here, they will give you a student visa with a work permit. I want you that are here to change the mentality of going to study for four years and then being a burden to your parents. There are certain things you can be doing and you can take care of your school fees by yourself and even support your family. <coughs> if you are to study in Germany, you will be studying and you will have the, the time to work for four hours every day. And that will be enough to take care of your expenses. And then you can even be sending some money home. In Spain, there are a lot of scholarship opportunities that are available. Also, in Austria, their school fees is 800 euros in, in, in the University of Vienna. But then you have the opportunity of getting a scholarship of more than 3,000 euros, more than the school fees you paid. So let us, not all of us, clamp here in Nigeria because the Bible says, my people, perish for lack of knowledge. So, what I am saying is just, I'm just going to the summary. When the career week comes for the next set, we will go into the, de the details. Then, in the your exercise book, turn some pages and write in 10 years time. And then turn some other pages and write in 25 years time. And then write some other in other pages 50 years time. the assignment. This is a life plan. And if you be principled enough, you be disciplined enough to follow what you are going to write down, because not even your parents should determine what you are going to study. I used to advise people, study whatever you are good at. What will give you joy? Or, on the other hand, if your family has a business, you know that if you study, you can improve the business. That means you don't need to go and apply for a job. The best restaurant in Enugu today is the best because 
The woman that started it started in Ogbeti Market. But the son went to the university, graduated, and then went to the mom and joined her in the business. Now, they have the best restaurant in Enugu because the, joy, the son brought the idea that from his studies into the business. So, my dear students, as the principal said, today is not the day of talk. I will leave it at this point now. Let us continue with the same fourth party. Thank you all. Uh, thank you, Tom. I want to listen, students. The first uh, doctor that talks to you, Dr. Ede, said. Okay, 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 you may not have the opportunity to look for him. Look for me. And again, our brother that have just finished talking. He said something again. You may not have that, but this is not a career week where you briefed everything. That particular thing to make you to look for uh, admission overseas. If you have intention of doing that, look for me. Let me look for him. Because the career week has been scheduled before the COVID. And it coincided, it entered into the COVID. Future awards, one hundred and hundred thousand. Say we something thousand. Oh, vice president, say that. You can't get there. Can you can you say we something thousand? Like a we. We have not missed a lot. By God's grace, we will still be there. Mm -hmm. And that is what he said. You are finished here. Does not mean that you don't belong to this place. Apart from, in spite of this COVID, I, this is uh, September, I could have been at Texas now attending conference. Yeah. 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 On the courtesy of the old boys. But COVID uh, is now. Why are you going to be here? You can't be here. In Jesus' name. Amen. And people see you there. Uh, the vice principal admin will say something briefly. Then, uh, as you share, just share with your hand and mouth why he talked to us. This is the Teachers of Bachelor Grammar School, Nick. No, no. My dear students, I thank Almighty God for bringing us together today. We are here today to celebrate our outgoing uh, students. Student, I say, congratulations. 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 I thank you all that. Uh, <coughs> You have reached this uh, stage of life. Life is in different uh, stages. And uh, it is full of uh, challenges. In short, you have uh, scaled through this hurt, hurt, uh, hurt. The hurdle is not meant to kill you. It is meant to strengthen you. It is meant to teach you a lot. And I know that you have learned a lot of things from what you did here 
at National Grammar School, Nike. You have really learned a lot. Well, I really know that shortly, some of you are going to enter universities and uh, higher institutions. And some of you that will not have such privilege of entering universities and the other higher institutions, well, higher institutions and universities are not the end of life. There are still so many opportunities elsewhere. Learn some skills. Learn some skills. And anywhere you find yourself, I want you to put three things you know, with you. One is hard work. The next one is discipline. And then the third one is uh, fear of uh, God. Once you have these three things, you are going to succeed in uh, life. I know you pass through a lot during your academic work here. And that has really exposed you a lot. But the next life you are going to face, you are really going to achieve something out of it. With discipline, hard work, and care of God. So I wish you good luck in whatever you are going to be. And I want to use the opportunity to thank the old boys of National Grammar School, Nike. They have done a lot to this school. I hope that you know you are going to continue in your good work. Thank you and thank you. And may God bless you. I want to use your point to thank the teachers who have been impacted so much on this our boys. In short, our teachers are so much dedicated. They have done a lot. Keep it up and may God bless you. Okay, so students are going to perform some drama here. If you are one of those students, please go out and prepare for the drama. Drama songs, music, and society. Go out and prepare for the drama and then come and show me. Okay? Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. <laughs> Our topic today is A, B, and G. And 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 plus 2 is 4. For those of you that do not understand, it's not for such a thing. Oh, 1 plus 1 is 2. Oh, 1 plus 1 is 2.
It's a great day at National Grammar School, Nike. The teachers that are here, I appreciate all of you. Our old boy, 
and our old girl. I thank every one of you for being here to partner with us, to eat with us. Because even I still in India, I have one on the iPhone. I'm on the COVID, COVID is running. And that is why you have all these teachers here. You see, my fellow teachers, when you are doing one or two things with this case, be very careful. Very, very careful. I don't know a guest code here. If you need a teacher's name, you should get. They will demonstrate that that person. Teachers in a short skirt in kind of better. You see guests demonstrating them. And you don't know. So I believe you have learned a lesson from what happened today. And uh, I thank all the students here. I believe that the number that we have here this year, we are going to have all the SS2 students of 200 and something students registering in this school in the Fort Community yeah. Service. Yeah. You know, you are a, I used to, you know, I used to as a, a, a kind of a, a project something. Yes. yes. My actual students are those in SS2. And believe you me, by the time I will go from one house to another house of these old boys, they will pay all their school fees. Amen. So tell those people that are having intention of living that they are missing a lot. Somebody here, one of those boys here said, the highest thing you will get in your life is to have the certificate of National Grammar School naked. It's a premier school. We talk of government college, Jafiko. Talk of all these things, CIC, that is where this school belongs. We belong to CSS, community secondary. We don't belong to community secondary. Yes. We don't belong to that place. Why should we come down to that place? And that is has been my headache. Why should we descend so low to community secondary school? It can never be. It can never be. We should remain National Grammar School, Nike, one of the premier schools in this in this uh, state. Eastern Central School, I'm telling you. So please, I would like us to go down. But before then, because we may not come down here again, some of the chairs will not come here again. Let us have a, a closing prayer. Okay. We want to tell you all that. We are happy. We are happy for the fact this is the first time I'm experiencing a ceremony like this for the SS3 students. So on behalf of the whole SS3 students, um, we want to present this to our principal for what he has done and the things that he has been doing for us. I want to say thank you very much, sir, for all you have been doing for us. Thank you. Well, I'm short of words. I'm very, very short of words. And I believe this gift, I'm dedicating it to all the teachers in this National Grammar School again. For being hardworking, for committing themselves to these boys. Even at the time of COVID, some of them are coming to teach them. So this little big gift that these students have given to me is for all the teachers of National Grammar School League. Yes. And I thank you very much. And I thank the students. Thank you. Can we start? Can we start? Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord. We worship you, precious Redeemer. We thank you for this very hour. We thank you, God, for having made this ceremony a successful one. 
We thank you in the life of our teachers here. We thank you in our own for our own lives. Eternal Father, the students, eternal Lord. Father God, we pray, O oh God, that as this ceremony is ending now, O oh God, that we the SS3 students, O oh God, precious Father, that you will continue to guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh God, we pray on behalf of our teachers. Father Lord, we pray, oh God, that you continue to give them the wisdom and the knowledge, Father Lord, to teach those people that are coming, oh God, after us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father Lord, protect us, guide us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Surely. Amen. of Trans Ekulu Girls Secondary School. But I was a teacher at National Grammar School in Nike for all about 30 years. I spent in this school. I started teaching Hausa language, from Hausa language to uh, government, social studies, English, economics. Eventually, I became the registration officer for Wayek and Neko. Eventually, I became vice principal administration before I was posted out of this school in 2019 to transfer to the secondary school as the school principal. I am here at the instance of the Old Boys Association, especially, specifically, uh, I got a call from Dr. Azubiku Doye to come and stand in for him and for other members of the Old Boys Association to say farewell to our students who just go to Wayek. It's a thing of pleasure that we have up to uh, 50 something of them or 60 something of them writing Wayek at National Grammar School Nike at a time when the population of students writing Wayek in this school dwindled drastically. So it's a good thing we are having this number and the old boys want to appreciate the boys. So we are celebrating the success of the Wayek exam. That's why we are here. You are impressed in what happened there inside them. You are impressed yes. about what happened inside of them. Of course, I was so much impressed. I was so happy. The teachers we are here in their numbers. The principal of the school was here. The students we are here. And we had the representatives of the Old Boys Association, Dr. Ude and Mr. Ede, who were all in our midst to celebrate this great day. I was so impressed at the drama presentation. You can see it was a thing of joy seeing these students. So it sends message across to all teachers, knowing well that whatever we do, these children are watching us. You can see how the children, we are mimicking the teachers, demonstrating how the teachers behave in the classroom. So if you are a teacher and you are not doing well, you see that you are in trouble. So it was a thing of joy. I am so happy, highly elected to be part of this ceremony. What are you wishing them? I'm wishing them the best in life. They will be sour higher and higher. Everything is not certificates. They can find their talents. Every one of them that they will recognize, they will understand who they are, the purpose for which God made them, and they will fit in perfectly well in that area of their calling, where God has destined for them and it's well with them. I wish all of them well. It will, well, it, it will be well with them. It will all go well with all of them. That's my prayer for them. What are you saying to the organizers? Well, the organizers are my children, my sons. I am so proud of them. 
I have become from being a teacher, I have become an old girl of National Grammar School in Ike. I say, may God bless all of them. I love them all. All the old boys of National Grammar School in Ike, they are my allies, they are my pals. Wonderful people, wonderful family. I enjoy their company. Everything about them is super. I love them. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you for your time. Man. Well, I, first of all, I would like to thank the Lord. Yes, actually this is the first time this thing since, since I entered this school, since 2014, my JS1. I've never experienced, I've never seen this type of ceremony being organized. But these are sets, this, this is the first time. That, so I, I am very, very glad. Even when they told me about it, this thing, the, the, the ceremony, I was, in fact, I was highly elated. Because this thing shows that that yes, we are through with our exams, and this is the time to showcase our our gratitude. So I'm I'm really very very happy for the people. What are ways uh, for the organizers of this event? Uh, pardon? The organizers of the event. What are you saying to them? Well, I um, first of all I I want to say thank you to our principal because. He, he, it was out of his diligence that he actualized this. I want to say a very big thank you to our principal, Mr. Chuku Kletus, and uh, the Old Boys Association of this school. They have been doing so many other things for us. Even the gates, the gigantic gate that is that has been erected here, they we are the people that 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 did it. So I'm saying a very big thank you for, to them. The Old Boys Association, I am very, very happy on behalf of the SSG students and even the whole student, students of National Grammar School. We are saying that we are grateful. In fact, we are feeling the impacts of your work. The things that you are doing, in fact, they are, they are, they are effective in our life, positively. So I'm saying a, big, a very big thank you to the Old Boys Association and the teachers of this school. But I passed through the school and the school has, has passed through me. I have gained so many things from this school. Right from, I'm, I'm very, very glad to be called a Nagramat. What are your promise uh, on behalf of uh, the other students? My promise is that I'm promising the school that as we are going out full, full into the society, that we are going to represent this school positively. We are going to make sure that we maintain our focus, our consistency, our, our commitment to serve even the, the world at large. So we are promising to represent them positively. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yes, the, the ceremony is, you had it in the hall, the first of its kind for the past 10 years and uh, it's not because it cannot be heard but because people's interests you know uh, you know we have interest different interests in many areas uh, when I came in here as a principal in September 2000, 2019 I told myself my normal situation is to reach out I started reaching out and getting some interested people that have even run away from coming into the school Eventually, uh, I met Dr. Azubi Kudoye. The first I met his brother first, Obumneme or Dr. Obumneme Kudoye, and he gave after the whole thing. I saw his uh, Azubi case number. I started calling him. He's the one that has a great interest in the affairs of this school. He started you know organizing over all that piece Danny Bridge, Ufa, Deno, Denia, all of them were interested. But for the fact that all of them were outside, one person has to prepare. You understand? Yeah, yeah. So when uh, Azubike came back, in fact, he saw the materials that are in the school. He saw the administrative network in the school. And I have to thank you very much to tell you that today that when I came in here, it was like Bringing people from 19th century 
to 21st century. You know, it's very hard. It's hard. But eventually, uh, uh, in fact, I, I thank Almighty God because I succeeded in bringing them from the behavior of 19th century to the 1st century that we, we are now. And that is why we are seeing all these things. The old boys started coming, you know, uh, the picking interest. Because if you, don't, if you don't call people to say, this is where you are, and this is what you want, nobody will come, nobody will care for you. So, I uh, thank Almighty God for what happened today. Dr. Azubiku, though he called me and said he has interest, I said, very fine. It has what I've been planning to do, but COVID, he said, no problem. Today, you have seen it has come and gone. And they very well packaged sent forth for this case. The students said it tell by themselves. Yeah. That for the first, since they started school, for the past six years, they have been here. That's not, that's never anything like this. So I thank God and thank the old boys, all of them, for the assistance and encouragement they have given me for the period I've been here. And I believe that they will continue. They have done a lot of things in this school within my period. You know, will I say mentioning it? The gate you are seeing was commissioned under me. All the protectors in the school was done under me. The computer lab, you know, uh, NCC was commissioned under me. The new uh, super building was commissioned under me. I mean, other things. Yet to come. Yet to come. So I thank you very much for coming. And I thank all the old boys. I'm working in Kebezo, we have not broken with that today. I would have been at US for, for their convention for their conference mm -hmm. for convention. Mm -hmm. But then over the game below. I still believe that with the relationship in a family. And it, it, let me tell you one thing. If you are an administrator and you know what you are doing, people will like you. That's true. People will like you. You don't paint anything. You wash your hand and do exactly that thing you want. And people will be saying it. Teaching and learning situation have been improved. Students' behavior, students' neatness. Can you have it? You know, but I think it was not done by me alone. You understand? Because if you don't organize the teachers, they will not help you. If you don't have capable vice principals, you will not do anything. And then the most important thing, if you don't know anything, tell him this is what you have to do. You understand? And that person will do it. And that's the result I'm enjoying today. I'm enjoying this result because good things are coming to National Grammar School Nike under me. Rex Mafiana have, co have organized a competition inviting up to five or six secondary schools and they come and made this school what they are. So I thank all of them and I believe <coughs> they will not leave the school. Principals come and go. School remain. The old boys remain. You understand? So I thank you very much for coming and I believe by God's grace we will continue to upgrade the environment of National Grammar School Thank you. And what are you wishing the outgoing students? The outgoing students, what I'm wishing the outgoing, outgoing students is for them to have trust on themselves. Once you have trust on yourself, you excel. You understand? They should be good ambassadors of this school. Because once you have your certificates, O-level certificate bearing National Grammar School again. I'm telling you, the grown up on national grammar school, and I have a boy. And I have a boy. They always eager to excel by themselves. You understand? And that is exactly what I'm wishing them. They should excel. Thank you, sir. Thank you.